So today on Richard's Amateur Hour, I'm going to be installing a LG Mini washing machine. We purchased a small LG washing machine because we can't fit the big one on the boat. So today we're just going to show you all the parts that I've uh, purchased, which is going to be some electrical wire, some hose connectors, some water hose, power point adapters, and I'll show you how we're going to do this Amateur Hour hookup. We've installed this washing machine, the LG Mini, into the forward bulkhead or forward locker behind the shower. This washing machine does rock and roll, so we've had to brace it to some points here in the fiberglass. Now after we installed this washing machine into the bulkhead here, we've noticed that the washing machine wouldn't start. It would just keep beeping and beeping. So we've had to research what that code meant, and we actually contacted the supplier, and they said, oh, you need the washing machine installed on top of it which is not what we expected, and this was not what was discussed at the store. So I found this particular trigger switch that we've actually had to push in to act like there's another washing machine on top. And presto, it works with a screw stuck in there. I had to change shirts because they're getting very hot, and I'm trying not to actually remove this ceiling. So I'm gonna try and feed the hose through the top of the ceiling by drilling a hole from one side to the other and trying to feed it through. Wish me luck on this one. Did it say it is amateur how? There's my hole. And yes, I have to remove the ceiling. They're not gonna be fun. Okay. One window frame taken off. That's the first stage. Half a ceiling off. I want the window pipe all the way over there, across the top of the ceiling, and up that, to that little hole up there, which I've got to make myself. Getting there slowly. Amateur hour with Richie Heinitz on Cassius. Slowly, honey, very slowly. So is my washing machine ready to use? Oh, no, it's not, honey. I've only just started pulling the ceiling apart. It is, I just said I'm like Houdini. You've got to get twists and turns and twists in this little area and beyond the area. So it's, give me the whole day and I'll get it done, all right? All right, trying to get an easy pathway, especially on the boat, is very difficult because it's very tight compartments, tight spaces. I have to go into the towel and linen cupboard and remove that ceiling and try and see if I get access to that pipe. Ceiling's removed, and I've got to drill another hole through there beside that wire to fit the pipe and then another electrical wire. Damn it, so Jen, damn it. I bought the wrong connection. So I bought these small connections here, the root 10 mil, and I actually require a 12 mil. So we're gonna try and find a place here in bloody Zanzibar. Damn it. I had spare ones of these in the container that were for the boat, but the pipe that I'm hooking up to is a lot thicker. So it's 12 mil. So we're gonna go to a shop. So next one more shop for the grunt and that's about it. I'll have to order this from my Dara Salam. So what I've done now is because we didn't have the right diameter pipe, I've just engineered on Amitreya this particular pipe. I've got this diameter of eight millimeters, which I purchased, and I've got the 10 millimeter here. So what I'm going to do is I put a sleeve over the top of it, heated it up first, fed it over the top of the pipe so it feeds over the top of this pipe and inside this pipe. And as it cools, it hardens and we just clamp it. Now I've done this once before, I've done it a few times in fact, and it works. It's not the best thing in the world, but honestly, when it sets, it's not coming off. So that's taken me about four hours. So now it's time to hook up everything and see if the water flows and no leaks. Finally, I'll take this joiner and I'll join it to the washing machine pipe to the new water hose that's coming through, which I've put through the ceiling. And I have my water connected to 
the washing machine and have the wire here ready to be made in, or plugged into a GPO which I'll wire up tomorrow morning. And that will all work. And tomorrow I'm gonna to demonstrate to you how it works. So bracket is now in place. Ready to feed the wire down through the hole there and attach the power point. Okay, now I've fed the wire through now into the power points here. We're going to quickly test to make sure there's no power running through here. We have nothing, nothing, zero. So the wires are not live, so I can use them. Now, as I said, I'm gonna use this port here. I've disconnected these. So I've got the brown as the neutral and the green as the live. And so I'll set it up into the power point. All right, so we have it connected. Spray, electrical spray. All ready to the cleaner. However, I have not connected to the mains yet, which I need to turn off all the mains and then test it out. Um, I'll check the temperature on the wire just to have a bit of a look and it doesn't get any hot or doesn't get warm and um, start the washing machine and keep an eye on it for a couple of hours and just make sure that everything's running smoothly. Washing machine, open up the lid. Now if you look at the amount of clothes you're putting in there, one pair of shorts, top, two tops, three tops, two pairs of underwear, another pair of shorts, so we've got like four, so five pairs of shorts, three, four, five tops, some underwear, and some socks. Now for a small machine, that's not bad, is it? Right into the bilge. And you happy with the washing machine? Very happy with the washing machine. That's all dry clean washing. Perfect.